Sam, welcome back to XFC. Last outing was uh, quite an incredible stoppage. Um, you're back again here for another professional fight. How's this camp been and what are you looking to show the fans tomorrow night? Uh, camp's been well. Uh, we always prepare well um, every time we get into the cage. So uh, just keen to get back in there again and um, showcase our skills. Very much an anticipated rematch here. You know, tomorrow night, you know, how do you see this fight playing out for yourself and what do you want to try and display to the XFC crowd? Uh, this fight's all about uh, redemption tomorrow night, so I uh, can't wait to get in there and um, bring them to Suplex City. Mate, obviously, great, fantastic grappler. You talked about Suplex City last time, but you stopped it standing on the feet. Is it safe to say that you're prepared to stop this fight anywhere, uh, anywhere this fight goes? Uh, yeah, we train in everything and we're prepared for uh, whatever is thrown at us and we can finish it uh, at any moment with, um, with whatever, so we're prepared for everything, so yeah. yeah. Mate, fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Nick, weight's made, rematch tomorrow, title fight. Run me through how you're feeling. Um, great, mate. Um, camp's been well. I've worked, worked hard on a lot of things and uh, just decided to get in there and uh, get the job done. I guess what a lot of fans might be thinking or asking themselves is, you know, how is this fight different from the first one? Um, I wouldn't say any much different. Um, Sam, Sam's still a good fighter, man. He's, he's got a tank on him and he's a strong dude as well. But, um, hey, I just worry about myself. Um, I've upskilled since then. I've worked hard on a lot of things in terms of grappling and, and um, just my cardio base as well. But, man, I'm just excited to get in there and, and get the job done. But, hey, that's what we do for. We love it. So just go in there and put a show on for everyone, so that's, that's what we're looking forward to. I've got to ask, so compared to the first fight, you know, just how much further have you come in your martial arts progression? Well, since we fought first, since we fought last week, about a year ago, but yeah, I took, I took a loss um, after that, and I felt, man, I, I grew a lot from that loss, and um, just became a lot more hungry. Usually the old one would just be a bit too, um, I don't know, a bit too stubborn, and you're like, nah, nah, you know, just playing, play victim, but... No, I took it on the chin and I just went back to the drawing board and I worked on my skill set and yeah, I think uh, we'll see the, uh, the full product tomorrow. So I'm excited. Fantastic. Very last question for you. How does tomorrow night end? Um, for a good fight, man. With the put, put a great show on for, for XFC. Put a good show on for Matt and, uh, and Daniel. But um, with me at the win, yeah, that's how it ends. Mate, love it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Australian middleweight professional title fight. Are we excited? Introducing first, Slam and Sam Dog. All right, everyone, here we go. Main event time. And as we heard Bella say before, Australian XFC title. All hail to the King, Brogan Anderson, watching in intently over New Zealand right now for the winner. Unfortunately, uh, dealing with COVID the last couple of years, we all know that international travel is impossible, so while Brogan Anderson sits on the throne in New Zealand right now as the true middleweight champion and light heavyweight champion, right now we see Sam Dogg and Nick Kepu fight for the Australian middleweight title with hopefully the winner then having a super fight with Brogan Anderson. And here we have Slam and Sam making his entry. And what a support crowd he has with him. It was a bit of a Kepu, Dobby, going off in the crowd earlier how lucky we are that uh, it seems like the supporters are on opposite sides of the cage <laughs> I'm not sure about luck Matt we're in the middle <laughs> <laughs> but yeah what I really love about Sam when he brings he, he brings a level of intensity and pure athleticism to the table just a beast of a man who doesn't seem to get tired and as he's gone from his amateur to professional ranks He's really dialed in the weight cut, gets it down in place right, and hasn't lost any of the power. Here's something wild you might not know about Sam Dobb, is they are actually considering a move to welterweight eventually. Wow. Yeah. So, 
Sam has won the amateur light heavyweight belt as he looks to be possibly the second or third, I believe, to go on and win the professional belt as well, following Aaron Tao. He's certainly feeling it now, very relaxed, getting his last instruction before stepping in the cage. And for those who don't know, Slamming Sam comes from Suplex City in his first fight, just decided to ragdoll. Ladies and gentlemen, it. please welcome Nick Kepu. Dints in the cage from uh, Sam's debut fight. Where he threw Joe, Joel Botafilli over his shoulder probably 16 times. Made for a nice little highlights package. So what's your highlights package? Oh, just my first fight, that's <laughs> it. And here we have Slick Nick Kepu walking out. And as you saw in the interview beforehand, this is a bit of a grudge match. These two have fought before for their, both making their pro debut. And Nick got the better of him in that instance. We saw a lot from that fight in regards to really slick wrestling and really good quality high level striking. And Nick had enough on that night to get his hand raised. Sam wants to reverse that decision and make it something for this one getting the belt for the Australian title. And again, awesome to see how just active these boys are. As I said, we knew uh, Sam fought only three months ago from the, uh, the main event. Backing up again, and this time again for that Australian title. I've got no idea where this fight goes. Ooh. It is a, as 50-50 a title fight as you can make, I think. And what position do you want to be in? Do you want to be the uh, the Nick Kepu who comes in off the back of getting one over him? Or do you want to be the Sam Dobb that, you know, learned from that last defeat and has a bit of a grudge on his shoulders? Well, I think that uh, Sam coming off two first round stoppages, both pretty brutal. I think bringing that confidence, like building that confidence back up after taking that loss, I just feel like, yeah. But then you've got the advantage of knowing you can beat the guy if you've already beaten him, you know? Yeah. yeah, I don't know which one I want to be. I, I would say both these guys know it's a different fight. They have certainly moved past that. Uh, no one really would sit back and rest on their laurels and go, I've done it before, I can do it again. These guys would have done a lot of training for each other. They've been in there, so there's, it's the different tells and who prepares best. We saw that with John Jones. And any time he's had a second fight with someone, he comes back even stronger. We'll see what happens here with these two gentlemen. I find the difference in demeanors really interesting. Nick Kepu is like real chill and sloppy, and Sam Dobb looks like he's at a gajillion RPM all the time. Yeah. Nick, you're about to see a completely different atmosphere as well. There is no seats closer than the Mansfield Tavern, and there's no crowd louder than an XFC crowd as well. So, again, second time they fought, but this is the first time they fought. Before I introduce this, you've got to take a look at the pandemonium in the crowd right now. Oh, it's just as bad over there. Where were we? Introducing first. In the blue corner. Weighing in at 83 kilos. With a professional record of two wins, one loss. Fighting out of Carlson Gracie team. opponent in the red corner he weighed in at 84 kilograms fighting out of militia muay thai holding a professional record 
of one win and one loss? Give it up for Slick Nick Kepper! Uh, gentlemen, you both know the rules. I expect you to listen to my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times or I will do it for you. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out swinging. The referee in charge is Thomas Churchill. They are cool as... Try not to swear on the stream. <laughs> Straight in, oh. Sam Dobb. So is Sam... It? Oh! In the body. I thought it might have been just below the body. So Nick said he's going to put on a striking clinic. And Sam went straight up. It's going to be a suplex city into a submission. I don't think I've ever seen a faster starter than Sam Dobb, ever. I've watched about a million fights. He's into it within a second in every single fight. And we've seen the type of clinic that Nick Kepu can put into a fight. And now he gets to unleash some elbows as well. Oh, that's a good trip. Yep, so Sam Dobb has a point to prove in this rematch. He's got him in a really good position at this stage. Oh, crucifix him against the fence. Nick's done a great job of getting that arm back, but Sam's put it straight that, back in there. Just that head pressure. Oh, but he's lost the arm, though. Nick doing a great job to get back up. Are you going for another ride, though? Well, oh, Nick's done a great job getting that overhook on the left arm. And I'm sure Nick and his team have talked about this as well, that they need to weather this early onslaught. 25 minutes of fights in total right now. Can any human being keep that pace up? Oh, oh good shot. He snapped his head back with a beautiful jab. And Nick is, Nick is sporting quite a big advantage in... in uh, here he goes. In reach. Yeah, I think I, I think I kind of saw uh, Sam Dobb blinking a couple of times there, so he might have uh, might have copped one across the eye there. Is he going to take a right? Oh, uh, slick Nick. So Nick has a 21 centimeter reach advantage. So you can see why he's standing on the outside, just picking him off, and Sam's trying to close that distance. Sam seems like he's got a lot of energy in the first couple of minutes. Nick's done a great job to get back and find the exact range he wants to be at. This is exactly where Nick has the advantage, just out at the out at striking range. And I tell you what, as big as Sam Dobb looks, doesn't Nick Kepu look humongous right now? He does. He's probably as thick and a little bit taller even. Yeah, he's, cer he's certainly got the height advantage over. He's 10 centimeters taller than Sam. And as I mentioned before, 21 centimeter reach advantage. Oh, beautiful Nick Kepu. A couple of times he's tried leading with that left uh, kind of uppercut hook. Yeah. I mentioned that last time. Sam came out really strong in his first fight, and then Nick just put it on him. And you can see a little bit of that same fight pattern this time. Good entry. Wow, that Whoa. shifted the cage two inches. Huge takedown. Leon Belly. Oh, he's on his back. He's got the choke. No, but he's in a very good position right here. Sam got raining down got the, the elbows. And heaps of time to move as well. Oh, a full one minute 30. Thomas Churchill having a look here. Is he going to attack the submission or just keep punching? I'm thinking Sam and Sam's liking the elbows. Wow! Oh yes! Stop the fight! Wow! Is Nick out? Nick is out and unconscious on the fence. No? Uh, no, Nick's still there. Just disappointed. I'm out before my brain, like always. What a performance turned in by slamming Sam Dobb. I love the sportsmanship between the two. How crazy is that fight? Sam came out like explosive, 
Vic almost turned the tables completely. That, that, that end of that round was completely going Nick's direction. Do we need a decider? Completely flipped the script. Just that top pressure is immense, isn't it? If Sam gets on top here, it's hard to get anywhere from there. And now we talk about super fights. We now have Brogan Anderson versus Sam Dobb. What a fight. I really like the fact Sam knows how to work a crowd as well and get him involved. I was really impressed with some of Nick's exchange within that fight as well. Oh, again, I could watch that fight a million times. But it, how brutal is this sport? You know, the, the highest highs, the lowest lows. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, you know, weathers the storm starts winning his own battle and then again it just gets completely flipped on his head. I do like a redemption story too, you know. It would have, it kind of gives it a little bit of extra grunt that one day we could definitely see him fight again down the track and find out who will decide a fight. Oh. What a performance turned in by Sam though. The winner of this fight at 3 minutes 40 in the first round by TKO and new Australian middleweight champion in the blue corner slamming Sam Dodd champion that is two TKOs in your last two fights in the first round how are you feeling uh, first I want to give all the glory to God for this victory through him I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength amen but yeah and that's how now third um, win in a row with the first round finish so it's pretty good but it's a lot of hard work that we've been putting in and it's it's just an awesome feeling when all the hard work starts paying off. Now, Sam, you did say in your interview you wanted a suplex. You didn't get the suplex, but you did get a monster takedown. How were you thinking it was going to go, and were you happy with the end result, obviously? Yeah, Slim and Sam, so... Any takedown will do. Any takedown will do. Okay, there is a name that I'm thinking. Brogan Anderson. He is watching you right now with this bad boy. Any words for him? I'm just going to enjoy tonight. Um, we're going to get back into training. We're ready for whatever comes next. I'm comfortable and confident with the team I have around me. 
So I'm just going to enjoy it tonight, have a couple beers with the boys. Get back to the drawing board on Monday and go from there. There's a lot of people here for you. Anyone you want to mention? Yeah, I want to thank um, all my coaches, all my training partners, everyone that's put in time with me. I really appreciate it. All the hard work, everything we do together, I really appreciate it. I want to thank Pedro for his support of me. I want to thank this XFC crowd, all the boys. All the boys, I love you so much. Thank you for coming and supporting us always. And everybody who's watching at home that couldn't make it, down in Canberra, I love you guys. We'll catch up soon. Let's party, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion middleweight Australian champ of XFC, Slamming Sam Dobb. Thank you for all of you streaming this at home and of course all of you in attendance. It couldn't have happened without 40 Winks, Oxley and Logan, Counterpunch, Tattoo Removals and Havoc and of course the hardworking staff here at XFC. We're not going anywhere. We're doing massive things in 2022. Keep clicking back to our socials, XFC Australia on Instagram. That's a good place to go. And Bella, it's been a pleasure as always. And it has been a pleasure with you too. We will see you in June, guys.